Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Uh, many, many blessings to you and your families. I don't know why I'm struggling with my card. <laughs> I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. As I have said, so shall it be. Oh, whatever your enemies have stolen from you has been returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay. Judgment is final. Okay. Let's see what in the name of source is going on here. Hopefully the neighbor is listening because as soon as I sit here, that's when she gets close to her wall to listen to everything and have conversations. When we open our door, her door mysteriously opens too. Okay. Okay. So we have the five of cups. Someone may be going through some type of loss. Someone's going through a lot of emotions right now is what I'm hearing. For causing a lot of illusions. They may have trapped themselves into something they're not able to get out of. Someone may be going through a lot of financial like right now. Okay. Something that didn't go according to plan. Someone thought they had everything figured out. Right. Someone has been working overtime. Basically. It's like this trick doesn't work. Let's do this one. This one doesn't work. Let's do this one. Uh, source wants you to know that whatever your enemies are doing to make you think that you are trapped in something, you're not. You're not trapped. <laughs> that was right on time. You are not trapped at all. Okay. This could be a masculine. You may be feeling like you're trapped with someone, with an institution. You may be feeling financially insecure as well things are going to turn around for you is what i'm being told you may have to let go of something maybe you're holding on yeah you may have to let go like you have to find the strength to let go so i don't know if you're you may be stuck in a marriage maybe going through a divorce you're in some type of unhappy relationship you feel stuck in this relationship you feel miserable You've been feeling miserable in this relationship for a long time, but I think you're someone that's very loyal and you're loyal to the wrong people. I don't know if you didn't want to break a relationship or because of uh, children or a child, something like that is what's going on. But what I'm seeing is that you are disappointed, you're hurt, you're dealing with a lot right now emotionally and you may be feeling alone as well. Like. The people around you, you know they're not really there for your for your uh, best intentions. Like you know they are trying to keep you stuck in something that you're not happy in. You feel trapped. I'm speaking the truth. This is your ancestors talking to you. You're gonna have to let go. Because I think what it is is someone is trying to hold over your head all of the financial benefits that you have access to within this relationship, collaboration, institution, something like that. And they're telling you that if you let go, you're going to end up trapping yourself. You'll be stuck. You, that's not what, that's not true. That's not true. It's a mind game. Even if you did lose everything in here, you will still come out a winner because you're going to start some new life that's going, that's going to be fruitful for you, okay? So this is a masculine. Yeah, they want you to feel trapped. They're keeping you stuck in your mind. This is not you naturally. This is people playing with your mental. They want you to feel that you're going to be trapped financially and you, this is keeping you in your mental. <clears throat> Excuse me. You feel mentally trapped, physically trapped. You don't know how to get out. You don't know if you should let go. 
There's someone, there's a group too. Someone, I don't know if this is a group. This could just be someone that did something and now they feel trapped and have legal issues coming in. They've been causing a lot of illusions as well. Yeah, I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm going to stick with you masculine as going through the divorce. <coughs> or this doesn't have to be a divorce. Whatever situation this is, this is, this is. <clears throat> This could be you all, maybe at your job, maybe in a relationship, maybe something like that. But there's something people are doing where they're playing with your mental. They're telling you, hey, if you leave this position, if you leave this person, you're going to be losing a lot. It's an illusion. You're Right now, where you are is why, it's where you're trapped. You are trapped where you are. And people around you are all being mentored on how to speak to you. You could be a king of pentacles. They're all being mentored on how to speak to you so that you can stay where you are and you don't leave. I'm telling you, when you leave, this is you, free. This is you when you leave. So everyone around you, whether this is a divorce, whether this is a company, your family member included, family members included, friends, Okay, colleagues, frenemies, all of them are aware of what's going on, but you're not. This is why you're going back and forth in your mind. You may be walking around acting like everything is okay, but you're not okay on the inside. That's what I'm hearing. You're hurting. Keep pushing forward. Like, move. This is you. Again, this sun car came out. This is you when you leave. They're all being... They're all in on it. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You're going to have to find the strength to move forward. Okay? They are all in on it. And once you leave, you'll be making genuine connections with people that are actually genuine with you. They won't be hiding anything from you. People that will go this extent to keep you trapped, you need to know that they're not there for your benefit. They don't care about you. It's ulterior motives. Either the person you're trying to leave or the institution you're trying to leave has coerced all of these people to encourage you to stay. Stay in something toxic. Yeah, new beginning, I'm telling you. And you see right here, victory. Victory. You need to put an end to that chapter. You're feeling stuck. Yeah, there's a collaboration going on behind the scenes. And you need to find the strength to leave, right, to leave, and you'll be collaborating with new people. What you don't know is that this is a whole collaboration behind the scenes. This is a whole collaboration behind the scenes. Someone does not want you seeing the truth. They want you to feel like you are confl you're, you're conflicted, you're delusional, you're confused, you're not confused. What you think is going on is actually what's going on. Everybody around you is in cahoots with the institution, with your ex-wife or whoever this is, your partner. They are all in a collaboration to keep you stuck. You could have been part of these people collaboration initially, and now you're disappointed. You don't want to be a part of it anymore because you know they don't have any good intentions, okay? It's all planned. You may have to give everything up and start over if you want to be free. You will never be free or live a fulfilling life. If you're staying somewhere because of resources, because of money, okay? And this doesn't just have to do with a marriage or a relationship. It's a job as well. You could be working some type of job you're stuck in. You feel trapped. They're, I'm telling you, they're all playing with you. They're all playing with you. The, the friendships are not genuine. You may have someone that's put there to watch you. They know everything. When you're not there, they're going through your drawers and everything. Opening cabinets, reading your mail, everything. You have literally a spy that has been assigned to be around you so that they can report back to the rest of the team, the higher ups or your whoever you're leaving or the courts or something like that, okay?
You need to let go. It's what I'm being told to tell you. Let go. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away. This group is not doing too well. Whatever, uh, whatever they've been doing behind the scenes is not going in their favor. There's some type of betrayal that's going on. They've betrayed you. All of the illusions they've been causing is not working. These people are heartbroken because things are not going to go in their favor. Because you're still going to be choosing to leave. You need to. I don't know what kind of La Vita Loca you all are living or what kind of delusion La Vita Loca you are under. I'm being told that you are not a free person. You're not free to be you. You're one of those people because of the situation you are in. You have to be mindful of the things you say, the things you do, who you're communicating with, how you're communicating, right? You may have jumped into something you didn't understand what it was. Okay, stand your ground, please. I don't know who you are, but stand your ground. Maybe I do and I'm not aware. But stand your ground. Yeah, it's a lot of secrets going on. You don't know it. It's a lot of secrets. They want you to feel like you don't have any other option. They're the only option for you. That's not true. It's not true. Your life is amazing when you leave that company. Your life is amazing when you leave that position. Your life is amazing when you leave that person, that toxic person you're not happy with. You're trapped in an unhappy marriage, unhappy relationship. They're all playing you, playing with your mental. And you know it. Deep down, you know it. You may be gifted, but you hide this side of you. They know it, that you are in an unhealthy situation, but it benefits them some way financially. And I think it's because of the looks of things as well. Because of the looks. This is what you're wanting in life. Equal give and take true love. The people around you don't care about genuine love, genuine affections. So if you talk about stuff like that to them, they are going to laugh at you. They won't take you serious because most of these people are broken and damaged. <clears throat> they are broken and damaged. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Move on. These people are heartbroken because if you leave, it's over for them. There's something here. Either this is an institution or this is a marriage. I'm telling you. <clears throat> You're causing a lot of illusions. A lot of illusions. And they don't even realize that they're trapping themselves. They are trapping themselves. And if you stay, you're going to be trapped with them as well. <clears throat> yeah. They're trying to make some type of new beginning for you as difficult as possible. They don't want you seen straight. Yeah, I'm telling you. They're trying to make something as difficult as possible. They said, no, don't go to her. Don't go to him. Don't go to that company. Okay? If you go, you're not going to be successful. If you go, you're going to be trapped. You won't be happy. It's not going to be fulfilling. You don't even know what that person is like. You don't know what that company is like. You've been with us for umpteenth years. Now you want to go start over new when you already are established in life, but you're not living a fulfilling life, sir. You feel trapped. Everybody deserves to be happy and live a fulfilling life. No one should be able to tell you where you should go, who you should be with in order to be happy. 
that's not something that should be taking place. Most of these people that are talking to you, they themselves are trapped in situations they don't want to be in. And I think you know that as well. I think you all know a lot about each other, but you know a lot of these people are not happy in life. They're miserable as heck. And since they're miserable, they want you to be miserable with them. But I promise you, when you leave to have this new beginning, they, these people are going to be heartbroken because you're leaving them out in the cold. They've already left you out in the cold. They're telling you if you leave, we're not going to support you. You don't need their support. Not, never let any human think that they have any power in your life or over your life. That's an illusion. They don't even have control or power over their own lives. So how are they going to have power over you? People only have power over you when you've allowed them to have power over you or to let them believe that they have some type of power over you. <clears throat> but you're going to be elevating in life. If you're going to an Empress energy, you two are going to be sailing into the sunset. If it's a job, the new job is going to be very fruitful for you. You see that Seven of Pentacles, Empress, Sun? It doesn't get any better than that. So whatever these people are, yeah. Growth, acceleration, promotion, elevation. Whatever these people are feeding you is a lie. They're lying to you. They may have lied to you about someone as well. I don't know if this is the empress you're going through, going to. <clears throat> Wherever you're going, whoever you're going to, you could be, yeah, you're a, queen, a king of pentacles. And they're keeping you trapped in your mind because of the money and the financial benefits of something, something about resources. But what I'm being told is that it's all an illusion. You don't really have these resources, obviously, if they can be taken away from you that easily. Someone is holding things over your head. Don't let people do that. Do not let people hold anything over your head. No one is perfect in life. We all have things we're dealing with. Every single person you see has a demon they're dealing with. And these people are trying to use yours against you. You may, you may be someone that people are easily able to manipulate you. That's a demon of its own. That's a karma of its own. And this is something you need to learn how to overcome. Your mental, you struggle with your mental. There are a lot of swords out here. The eight of swords is alarming. The two of swords is alarming. The three of swords is alarming. You're in your mental a lot. You need to get out of your mental and get away from these people, this person, whatever this is. It's an illusion. It is an illusion. It is an illusion that you are trapped in something. You're not trapped. You are not trapped. This is what they've been wanting you to believe. And this is what the enemy does to make you feel like you are at a disadvantage when you're not. You're not at a disadvantage. It is an illusion. Okay? In order to free yourself, you will have to let go. You will have to let go. Maybe the documents and things that are in this situation, look it over. Look over the documents. There may be something that you find that you didn't pay attention to before. Because I understand it's hard to let go of everything you've worked for. But you are miserable in this collaboration, this union, this institution, whatever this is. I'm not saying like you're miserable as in you're a bad person. I'm saying the experience you're going through, the situation you are in is deplorable. Let go. You're going to have an abundant life ahead of you. It's going to be more so, it's going to be so abundant that when you look back at the past, at this situation, you're going to say, what in the world was I freaking doing that whole time? Why didn't I let go sooner? It's because people were playing with your minds. This is what happens when you get comfortable in situations and you don't want to let go. You're like, I don't want to have to start over. But starting over is what's necessary to be free. I'm telling you, to be free. People that actually do the work to be healed, I'm telling you, they'll tell you, you have to start over sometimes. 
you have starting over new beginnings, new life, that's part of the journey in order to heal. That's part of the journey. And move in silence as well. I'm telling you, move in silence. Move in silence. You're going to be abundant, fruitful. There are. There could be a group of people trying to steal something. There's a meeting going on about an inheritance. You all are not getting that. It's like someone, something was left to you and a group of people are having a meeting about what belongs to you and they don't want you part of the meeting because someone has audited a will so you don't receive what's yours. You're still going to receive it. This group is not receiving. This person is not receiving this abundance, this inheritance. It's coming to who it belongs to. It's coming to who it belongs to. This is part of the, and you could know this, this is it. You all know each other. There's a meeting, either like a, 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 a private court meeting, a private, some type of private meeting that's going on that has to do with a will. And people are aware that something belongs to someone, either a feminine energy, but they're trying to keep a feminine energy out of this meeting so she does not receive what's hers. You'll still receive it, darling. You'll still receive it. You will still receive it. These people don't know they're sinking themselves. They're trapping themselves. Let's say you were left some type of property and these people go and sell this property or give it to someone else. Well, let's say they sell it, right? Um, when you come into contact with this property, you're going to receive it and whoever gave that property or sold that property to the new person, they're going to have to pay that person back for the money. They're going to have to pay that person back. I'm telling you, these people are trapping themselves in something. They're trapping themselves. Someone is exposed. Someone is exposed. They don't, yeah, they don't want you leaving. They don't want this person. This is a whole situation with in different sides being exposed. So excuse me if I'm going back and forth in here, but there are different sides of this story being exposed. There's a masculine in the situation you don't want to be in. When you leave, you're going to be free and abundant. There's a will going on, a will something. like a, I, I don't know what the word is. There's a meeting going on where uh, assets are being divided amongst the people that were pulled within the will. But they don't want someone to receive it, right? They're trying to give this will, this uh, uh, abundance, this inheritance to someone else. If the person cannot receive it, they want to sell it to someone else. If they do, it's going to be trapping them in something. They're going to have a lot of answers to give to people. Something is not going to go in their favor. It's not as simple simple as they think it is. This is like a group of people thinking that they're better than you. You don't deserve to have something. It's not for them to decide. They don't realize what they're getting into. All of these illusions is just trapping them. It's not trapping you. Whether you're the masculine or the feminine energy, it's, it's not trapping you. It's trapping them. This is like jumping from the hot pot into the fire. It's what these people are doing. Something needs to... Yeah, I'm telling you. They're trying to get away with something. They are trying to get away with something. They're paying people behind the scenes. There's a woman here of high, high honor that's karmic and toxic as heck. She's paying someone to do something to another person because she does not want this person to receive what's theirs. This woman knows that you are an empress. You're, you have something to you that belongs to you. She don't want you to have it. She's paying people behind the scenes to do something. Either to end. Yeah. 
she's paying either a queen of cups to get into a relationship with someone. Someone is in a relationship with a woman that was paid to be in that relationship. I'm telling you. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you're still going to have victory. You are still secure. Someone, there's someone or either a group of people that are wasting their time trying to steal from someone. It's not going to go in their favor. Whatever you are in, Empress, sir, whatever you're in, it is going to be a okay. You two may be married. I'm telling you, you're worried a lot. And these people are worrying. If they're stealing from someone, they're trapping themselves. Whoever this person of high honor is behind the scenes, with all these negative uh, uh, ways of living, whatever you want to call it, and paying people behind the scenes, bribing people behind the scenes, she's trapping herself. This group is worried. They know something is going to happen and you're worried a lot yourself you're going to stay worried if you don't take action and even if you sit back and let something blow over it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life Someone considers themselves to be the masters, of, master of illusions or masters of illusion. I'm telling you, but they're exposed. They're trying to steal something from someone. There's a meeting going on. They're having a private meeting about an inheritance. They don't want someone to have it and they're going to be exposed. Everything is going to be revealed, exposed. Either someone is passing away or they passed away already and they left something for someone that they deem to be of high honor and that person is however there is a queen of pentacles in this scenario that is not of high honor but she wants to hold what belongs to the person that was chosen she wants to keep it that the decision has already been made this is like someone making a will and someone else going in and saying, no, I don't agree with this will. We need to change it. And they tell her, hey, we can't change this will. It's, it's finished. It's done. And she goes in behind the scenes and either bribes a lawyer or bribes someone to have it changed. Someone is very deceitful, very karmic. Power. I'm telling you. It's not going in their favor. Someone may have gotten some type of message where they were told, oh yeah, we've destroyed this person. They're going through an ending. And they don't realize divine intervention. This person is having a new beginning. Someone sits from behind the scenes and has like minions out in the field doing their dirty work. They pay an emperor to do their dirty work. They want an emperor to choose them or they wanted an emperor to work with them. But this emperor knows the truth about you. Someone has a lot of minions. 
she wants to be chosen, but she's not the choice. Yeah, this woman is about to be, oh Lord. Someone has, someone has outdone themselves this time. <clears throat> someone has outdone themselves. Yeah, it's a divorce. Dang. Sir, you remember what I said about you leaving a situation? This is the higher thing in the reverse. What does this say? It says nonconformity, liberation from obedience, self determination, pursuit of individualism, non traditional education. I'm telling you, you better leave and free yourself. You are struggling with your identity. <clears throat> You are struggling with your identity. Judgment has already been called to protect whatever this is. Either protect you, whoever's trying to steal an asset, it's already secure. So even if they do manage to give it to someone else, sell it to someone else, they're going to lose it. They may end up having to pay even more at the end. So this is like someone leaves, let's say someone leaves you $2 million. And a group of people get together and steal their money. When everything is exposed, they're going to have to pay even more. They're going to have to pay even more back. And this is what they don't see coming. This is what they don't see coming. A group may have received some type of information that someone someone is going through something and they're trying to fix it, but there's someone there as well that's making things difficult and complicated. So they may be even just keeping her out of the loop. You're going to be victorious, sir. Ma'am, whoever's trying to steal from you, you're going to have what's yours. Just let it play it out. Let it play out. Let it play out. Yeah, let it play it out. It's not going like they think it's going to. These people are setting themselves up to fail. They're sinking themselves. They're in a deep hole right now. They think everything is going accordingly as, as expected. It's not. Someone is about to be exposed. I'm telling you, someone is about to be exposed. There's This is a family effort. This is a family effort, a group effort. You're not content within some type of relationship, whatever this is. I feel like I'm going back and forth between your story and this feminist energy story. Okay? Whoever they pay in this group to pretend to be something they're not is going through an ending as well. Yeah, it's not going like they planned. She's going through an ending. She's exposed. There's a queen of wands here in the reverse. She's exposed. This is possibly who you're trying to leave. Someone may have been pretending to be open-minded to be diplomatic, to be all kinds of things. She's not. You may have children with this woman, something. You need to run, 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 run as fast as you can. I'm telling you, run. It's a trap. They've been interfered, yeah. If you are in a marriage or institution, whatever this is, they are all interfering with you leaving and having a new beginning. Every last person you can you see around you, they are part of it. Every last person. 
You don't have any friends around you. Whatever action you were supposed to take or you're supposed to take, you may want to take that and free yourself. This is not going to go in the favor of these people. Oh, I said action and there it goes. Someone is unhinged, maybe wanting to pick a fight with another energy. She don't even stand a chance. Poor little Ting Ting. She don't even stand a chance. What is the fool in reverse? That's what I want to know. Is it too hasty, sudden action without sufficient consideration of forethought, stupidity, thoughtless, cowardice? I'm telling you, she don't even stand a chance. This is someone irrational. You have a family with this person. You're not content with this person. Now, what is the, the this lady in reverse? Yielding to others' fear of, of confrontation, liking virtue, self-centered ab, uh, arbitrariness, monopoly, jealousy, cheat. Dang. And this is what you're stuck with? This is possibly someone else they're even trying to get you to partner up with. You better not. You will be sinking yourself in a deeper hole. That would be you too jumping out of the pot to get into the fire. Jumping out of the boiling water and say, you know what? Let me just go ahead and jump into the fire. I want to know what the fire feels like. This woman fights a lot. She's always speaking fights with people. What does she know them? She don't know them. I'm telling you, fights a lot. Picking arguments with people. People that don't even know her. Whether they know her or don't know her, she picks fights with them because this is someone insecure as heck. Foolish. Foolishness, I'm telling you. This woman is crazy. Someone is unhappy. And she's always fighting with people. She could be one of the members of this group that has been leading them astray. She knows you don't want to be with her. Someone is possibly even having, they possibly even have a child and they don't do very well taking care of their child, something like that. Like this is a nutcase. If there ever was a pictorial uh, version of a nutcase, it's this woman. She's a nutcase. A lot of hatred and anger and animosity just sitting inside her. Superficial as can be. Just picking fight like someone maybe even picking fights with you, just so they can cause you confusion. Like you don't get the chance to self actualize. They may be playing with your mental, making it look like they are advocating for you or something. She's not advocating for you, sir. This woman is trying to prevent you from self actualizing, so you don't make the right decision. You're supposed to have victory. I'm telling you, ulterior motive. She's trying to block you from doing this, taking action. There's someone in your energy. She acts like she's there to help you, looking out for your best interest, whatever it is. One, one, can you see that? Disingenuine. Trying to make it seem that she support you, what you're doing, the decisions you're making. Except when the decision you're making has to do with you leaving, then they said, no, 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 no. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. It's not going to work out in your favor. How do you know? You don't even have foresight. You're out here in the reverse. You don't have foresight. You don't have a connection to source. You don't have nothing. And if you keep listening to these people, sir, you're going to miss out on your new beginning. That new life you're supposed to have that's abundant, you're not going to be having it, whoever you are. 
you might have even decided you don't want to have a new uh, new beginning with this woman. I'm telling you, this is someone who likes to fight. You may be trying to extend a friendship to someone that you're watching, someone you know that is actually educated, someone you know that is actually loyal. You may be a little bit terrified to talk to this person. I don't know if you did something to this person, but you want to extend a friendship, yeah, to someone. Someone genuine, someone kind, loving, pure-hearted, someone in the upright. You see what this woman is. I'm telling you, someone genuine. They probably told you whoever you want to make an offer to is not genuine. That's not true. It's not true. They told you that for a reason. I'm not even going to pay attention to this will thing. I'm going to leave that because... Source is already figuring that out. Uh, figuring. Source has already figured that out. So whatever this institution thinks they're going to be hiding, they're not able to. They're not going to have what they think they're going to have. Okay? The justice system may be stepping in to say, no, we still need this person here. We need to see this person physically. Someone has been doing quite a lot behind the scenes to steal something and they're not going to receive it. So we are just going to leave that whale thing by itself and let Source keep on doing what, what they're doing. Now, to this masculine, you are going through a separation. You're not happy. You want to go somewhere else. You may have already left this marriage and this woman is unhinged. Maybe even trying to call you, text you, email you, whatever she's doing. You're not responding. She may have, she may be having third parties contact you. You're not responding because you know what the BS is. You, you already see things for what it is. You want to, you're, listen, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. You've already put an end to this mess. You left already, and someone is unhinged. You already left. Someone is unhinged behind the scenes. She's trying to call you. She's trying to text you, email you, WhatsApp, whatever this is. You're not responding. You're taking your offer somewhere else. You're going to start off as a friend or someone else. It's a friendship. Friendship. It's going to start off slowly. Exactly. Someone you know is freaking bright. Has It's, it's innovative. Someone creative. Like you're taking your offer somewhere else. You may be a little hesitant to do it because you, you, I don't know if you did something to someone, betrayed someone, but you're finding out that someone is loyal, but you're afraid that they're going to reject your offer. You're in your, you're in your mind again. You're in your mind again. Should I get, should I reach out? Should I not reach out? Or you just may be wondering why someone is not responding to you, possibly because they didn't receive your message, whatever this is. There's a lot of interferences going on. And there's a family behind the scenes. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. You possibly freed yourself. I'm telling you, yep, you freed yourself. And you have victory ahead of you. You freed yourself. You have freed yourself. So whatever decision you've made or you made to excommunicate these people from your energy, you freed yourself. And she's done. This woman is heartbroken because you are leaving. She could have been trying to get people to do something to you or someone else. Like you say you're leaving her and she starts, you know, uh, setting stuff up to end you. Okay. Or even the person she thinks you're interested in. It's a whole lot. This was a plan to destroy you. But she's going through her ending. Not you. You went through some type of betrayal. Because you didn't listen. You didn't take heed to wisdom. Thank you. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, you're seeing things clearly now. You are seeing things clearly now. I don't know if you thought maybe someone did something to you and you're finding out that they didn't, they didn't do anything to you. The person in your energy the whole time is the one that's been doing stuff to you, interfering with your plans and things like that. Mm -mm. Remove yourself. I think you already did. You left this group. You're choosing to take a different path in life. You're realizing that you're surrounded by wolves or you were surrounded by wolves. Your pathway is clear. Your pathway is clear. You're seeing things like you're supposed to from a higher perspective now. Yeah, your pathway is clear. This chapter is over. I'm telling you, your pathway is clear. You are protected. You're about to be a higher version of yourself, a better version of yourself. Like you're coming out of some type of toxic situation and you're about to be a better version of yourself because you took action or you're taking action to free yourself and to do the right thing. You're learning about everything people were doing behind the scenes to block someone's victory, to end them, interfere with love. Like they don't want two people coming together. So they've been doing a whole lot behind the scenes to cause endings. And these two people are still going to come together. They're still, someone is still divorcing you. Someone is still leaving the position, probably already left. So all this trickery was in vain. In vain. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was all a dream. And this car won't leave the bottom. This is what you're going to have when you leave. So they're telling you, hey, if you leave, you're going to fail. You're not going to be successful. That's not true. You and whoever you're going to are going to build a successful business. You two are marrying each other right now. You're going through some type of tumultuous time and the person you are supposed to be going to or want to go to is going through a tumultuous time, but you two are mirroring each other. They don't want you two coming together. They don't want you two having a new start. You, you say you're not having another start with this queen of wands in the reverse. You, you're taking action to move on. Kudos to you. You're not. You've taken the, the initiative move on. Someone may yeah, be trying to communicate with you and things like that. You, you're not paying them no mind because you already know what it is. But when, when the time comes for you and whoever you are supposed to be working with come together, it's going to be successful. It's going to be successful. You're seeing the truth now. I'm telling you. You're going to be successful. I opened the deck and it landed on the page of wands. Spirituality, enthusiastic, energetic, confident, creative, adventurous, explore new projects, plan, messengers, good news. I'm telling you. Someone does not want you seeing. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're protected. 
Move on, move on, move on, move on. Move on. Close that chapter and move on. You are protected. You're supported. Why stay somewhere you know you're not fulfilled? Because of resources? And even if you have a son with this person, you all can do a, a, a custody arrangement or take the kid with you if the mom is not a healthy force or energy to have around the child. Take the child with you and move. And then you know you two can go through a court proceedings where you can have, you can decide, you can have the court decide if it's healthy for the mother to be around the child based on the evidence that you provide. But you're protected. Anyone trying to interfere with your life, your safety, they're not going to like what's going to happen to them. As you can see, that Queen of Wands thought she was going to be having victory. It's a no-no for her. I'm telling you, new beginning. New beginnings. This woman is going through a horrible ending. Whoever they hired to call someone else an ending, pretend to be something she wasn't, she's going through an ending as well. Someone has been paying people a lot behind the scenes. Even if she's not paying people, these are people she's been, she's been, uh, uh, how do you call it? She's been working them for so long, she doesn't even have to pay these people anymore. She just tells them, go do this, and they do it. Because she has that much control over them. They've all given away their power to someone else. They have people moving to live into communities just to keep an eye on someone. That, hey, keep an eye on her. Make sure they don't come together. Keep an eye on him. Make sure they don't come together. Anywhere they go, follow them. So you're being followed. Whoever you're, you're wanting to go to is being followed. Because someone wants to know everything that's going on. So they can know how to interfere. And you have this, these idiots, these dum-dums. With their tails whacking and tongues out. It's a... <laughs> My master said I have to watch her. I have to watch her. I cannot lose track of her. And the whole time you're watching someone, they know what you're doing. The whole time you're logging into someone's phone to make sure you they're not communicating with another person, they know what you're doing. The whole time. Looking like a bunch of idiots. How is one person able to control everybody? Money? You want to tell me all someone has to do is pull out some money and you'll move at the drop of a dime? Dang. That's all it takes, I'm telling you. That's all it takes. All they have to do is show you money. And all your morals go right out the door. All your self-esteem goes right out the door. That reminds me, self-esteem. Darling, that's in my messages. My, my, not messages. My comment section, honey. I don't really respond to comments in my thing. I think you've noticed because I know you, you stalk me. You watch me. You and your partners in crimes. Honey, from time to time, I will decide to entertain myself with you all in your shenanigans because I need some entertainment from time to time myself. So you might want to find something better to do. I don't know what damaged you in life that you think it's okay to get in a comment session going back and forth with yourself. I saw that stuff yesterday. I said, oh, this person is really in here having a whole conversation with herself, his self, <clears throat> and they don't see anything wrong with that Like at your age, really. And some of you, your family members have you watching me so you can report back to them. I know too. But just so you know, every now and then, I will choose to respond. I don't know whose picture you went and used on there, honey. You, you need a life. You need a life. You need a life. You need to find your self-esteem somewhere. Kind of like I was telling you. Your self-worth is not working. It's not worthing. Like it's supposed to. The fact that you feel comfortable getting in the comment section to come in, what, three or four times and no one is responding. Only your idiotic friends that are in cahoots with you are going in there to like the comments. You, 
You got to be really miserable in life to go out of your way to post under someone's video four times by yourself. I say, you know what? This karmic wants attention, so let me give them a little bit of attention today. Because a lot of the times I don't even like respond. I may just pull like an emoji because I already know what's going on. But honey, yesterday I had time. I said, you know what? This person is obviously needing attention, so let me give you a little bit of attention today. You need help. You are too old for this stuff. You need help, okay? Anyways, sir, victory. Move forward. Take charge and move forward. Move on, okay? You're letting people play with your mental and start trying to tell you they know what's best for you. They don't know what's best for you. New beginning. These people don't know what's best for you. Your new beginning is protected. They don't know what's best for you. You know what's best for you. Okay? Your pathway is secure. Your pathway is clear. All of these people are going through some type of ending. And it's karma. They've all cursed themselves. They've been trying to keep you stuck. I don't know if you work in an institution or you're in a marriage. And these people just don't want you to go. You may be like a light worker. Not, you're not a, not a light worker literally. But you could be someone that's high vibrational. And you are surrounded by a group of dark workers. And they benefit from you being there in that company. So they're trying to keep you there so they can keep feeding off of you. This is what it is. You're showing up as a King of Cups energy. Yeah. They're feeding off of you. You don't even know. They're feeding off of you. These people are playing mind games with you. They know how to manipulate. And they, they all have been trained on how to stay calm. How to stay uh, uh, more, uh, 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 what they say, keep a, a resting face, a bee resting face where they don't, where they act like they don't know what you're talking about, they don't know anything about anything. They know, they, they know some of these people have been around each other for 10, 15, 20 years, 40 years, 50 years. They know, and they've been playing you like a tuba. move on you're going to receive a new opportunity a new life new beginning that's going to be fruitful you're in, you you i'm telling you they're worried they are worried <laughs> they're not going to show it when you're around but behind the scenes this is them losing their bunkers going through endings and you've been letting these people play with you I'm, you're a king of pentacles i'm telling you you see that? Betrayed you. They betray you. And this is a feminine energy that's been right in your face all along. I don't know if this is someone you chose to be with. Someone that was coerced to be with you. <laughs> Whatever it is. This woman has been in your face all along. Betraying you. And you didn't know it. Meanwhile, you had your focus on someone else that you were trying to cause an ending. For someone out there, that's a story. You were trying to end a feminine energy, not knowing the feminine energy that you had chosen over her was ending you. You were betraying someone, and the person you thought was better than the person you were betraying was betraying you. Make it make sense. And that's sometimes that's how the universe will teach us a lesson. That's how the universe will teach us a lesson. It's like the whole time you thought you and someone were on the same team, you and a group of people were on the same team, but you're finding out it's not so. They've been betraying you the whole time. They've been manipulating you. You have a whole queen of wands in the reverse. And you thought she was an empress, is what I'm being told. You thought this woman was an empress, but leave and your victory is ensured. 
wherever you're going, wherever you're going, your victory is ensured. Yeah. You'll be wiser now. <laughs> you are wiser now. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to be taking some type of action. Take that action and go for it. Thank you. Success. I don't know if you communicate this in a message or something and you're waiting for a response. You're not going to get the response because the message was either deleted, interfered with or something. So you may have to take physical action or something like that. I don't know what this has to do with but maybe you, you'll have to take some type of physical action. You may need to seek guidance, uh, counseling on this matter as well, on how to proceed. I think you're waiting for something. I don't know what you're waiting on. What is this man waiting on? To know something? You're waiting to hear something? Waiting to hear a response, maybe from a, a high priestess. Is that what it is? You took you took action to communicate with a high priestess and you're waiting to hear the response. You're not going to hear the response you're looking for because that message didn't come through. It didn't go through. It didn't come through. It was interfered with. I'm telling you, you sent a message. I, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell a lie. You sent a message and you're waiting for a response. You're not going to get the response because that message was interfered with. It didn't go through. It didn't come through. Because you have enemies around you working against you. You're waiting on a high priestess to respond to you or something. Or there's someone that's gifted. Something like that. Did you go to get a reading? And find out the truth about the matter. Yeah. If you went to a high priestess to get a reading, she probably she betrayed you too. Is too much. It is just too much. Yeah. You have a son. There's something about news. Are you receiving good news? There's something going on here. There's a high priestess in here. And I'm not getting the end of this, this high priestess and this five of swords. Did a high priestess lie to you? Oh. Someone may have lied to you. A high priestess may have lied to you. They told you someone was not genuine, but the person is. They may have lied to you about a relationship to get you stuck in a relationship or something like that. Oh, yeah. They told you someone was not genuine, but you're finding out it's not true. Someone could have been paid. They've been working with other people behind the scenes to lie to you. You, you may not have known that this person betrayed you, but you're finding out now, whoever this was. Whoever you are, you're a king of pentacles, I know that. You want to have a genuine family, like a wife and kids, you come home to a happy family, things like that. And the people around you, you've been asking them for their input on what you want to do. 
and they've been ill advising you. They don't want you to have a new beginning, but you need to take charge of your life and move on. Go seek, make sure, if you're going to go to a high priestess or whoever, make sure it's someone genuine. Maybe ask them to see if they can look into some. I can't even say that because then they'll know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like you all watch me. You all watch me. There's someone that lied to you about an empress energy you saw as a love option. If you're going to go get a reading or something from someone, make sure it's a genuine person. Make sure it's a genuine person. You got to be careful. Some of these people out here only do this stuff for money. And if you're showing up as a king of pentacles, you're someone that should be intuitive, gifted. You should have the gift of discernment. You should have the gift of discernment. I'm so confused right now. I don't know if someone told you that a high priestess betrayed you. But I know someone is not happy because you're going to be having victory. Someone is not happy. I don't know if someone took some kind of, some kind of a rash action to do something and it's not going in their favor. Yeah, they're not happy because you're moving forward. You're taking charge and moving on. Like this high priestess in this five of swords threw me off. Threw me off. There are people around you that are not happy. There are people around you that are not happy. Someone may have been sending a lot of negative energy towards someone else and it's not going in their favor. They're not happy about that. What is... Let's clarify this three of wands, please. And this um, magician. Because, yeah, communications, I'm telling you. Yeah. So I think I'm not going to repeat it. But if you are I'm getting that you're someone with discernment in here, you're very wise, very smart, is what I just heard. So I think I just already told you what to do. I'm not going to repeat it. So go ahead and do that. I literally just told you what to do. To either free yourself or do something. Take some. There's something you're supposed to be doing. I'm trying to say it in a way where people, because I know you watch me and you're, the people in your energy that are trying to hold you back watch me as well. So I already told you what to do in order to have success in this story. And I hope you cut it. I hope. You cut it. Okay? But go ahead and do that. And you'll have victory. It has to do with you taking charge. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. Okay? But I, I mean, I already did, but I'm not going to repeat it because I know... I think you watch me and other the other people in your energy... They are not wanting you to have a new life somewhere. Watch me as well. And they've been watching as well to stay ahead of the game. I think you may just now be catching on to things. So you're a little bit behind or something like that. But. Yeah. Do what I just told you to do. Source, what is your message to us? What is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of? There we go. We have 13 out here, which, which sums down to four. Four is my number three. 
Three, please make a spiritual record of this read. Okay, 13 sums down to four. Four has to do with protection, um, being secure, your angels watching over you right here, okay? It says you are a conscientious, cons oh, Lord have mercy, conscientious worker with a like for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. I don't know why I can't read this morning. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I promise I can read people another four. So you're being told that you are protected, which is something I says at some point in the message. You are protected to move on. Whatever action you are taking to do, you are protected in that action. Okay? 31, sometimes to 4, or sometimes up to 4. You have to excuse me, folks. I haven't had my morning, Joe, and it is, I'm, I'm coming around. I can read, I promise. <laughs> Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is steering with creative ideas, and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. Okay, so you may be someone that needs self-discipline. You may be someone that needs maybe to have a little bit more control or take charge of your life in order to move forward. You need to learn how to dismantle other people's opinions and words in your life. It's very imperative for you to have a mind of your own so people cannot come in and bribe you. People cannot come in and tuck you into bullying other people causing stagnation into other people's lives, right? When you do things like that, maybe you're in a group that does it as a collective, so they may not see the problem with it. But I guarantee you the rest of the world around us that has common sense and chooses to utilize those senses sees the problem within there. You won't always be around the same people. You need to think of that. There's always something that's going to happen that's going to separate you from that toxic group. And you're going to have to learn how to survive outside of that group. And you can't bring that toxic mindset with you, right? So that's something that, that's specific for someone out there, I guess, that I'm saying it. You just need to take charge of your mind, your mental. You're, you, you, you're showing up as someone very gifted. And I don't know if you utilize these gifts. Like you have the gifts of discernment really strong. Like really, really strong, maybe even stronger than mine's. And mine, my, my third eyes is open. It's like permanently open. I can't like not see something. And sometimes mine is so sharp that I think like I have some type of mental illness because of what I'm seeing. But then like it'll be proven that I was right. <laughs> so like maybe you're someone like that. But I think even your discernment is stronger than mine's. So you need to become self-reliant, tune everybody out. I don't care how people try to make you think that you're delusional or something, you're not delusional. They just don't have your gifts. They don't have spiritual gifts that are activated in them. So this is why they are, they are, they are mentored on how to manipulate and deceive people, you included. They've been, they've been mentored on how to deceive you and keep you trapped remove yourself in the chapter okay move on i'm telling you you see this right here you're gonna have a new beginning in love that is gonna be of equal give and take this is you ending a chapter this is how you're ending this chapter you thought you were gonna have victory with someone they betray you this chapter is over you're gonna have a fresh start in love in life new opportunities creativity sparks when you leave this situation your mind is going to come back to life your heart is going to come back to life you are going to be a whole new person your mind is going to be awakened your crown chakra will be activated even more now than it's been which is allowing you to remove yourself from this situation because you know the truth now removing yourself from this toxic group is going to help you end this chapter and start a new one healing okay 4-4, four, four, which has to do with protection, healing, 6-7, right? Luck, 7 is the number of luck. So which means things are going to go in your favor, 
okay? So, I don't know what, you know what? I'm just going to read this last card and we'll call it a day, okay? 25, which, has, which sums up to 7, has to do with luck, the universe supporting you, and things like that, all right? And this, these two are going to sum up to 8, which is like infinite blessings from the universe. That whatever you're receiving, the Most High has its hands in it and no one can take that from you it's everlasting it's lifelong throughout your entire existence these are blessings that will be destined for you so whenever you incarnate again those same blessings are going to be given to you probably multiply so this is something you will have for the entirety of your existence and be, and since i'm saying that that means that there's a business that you and someone are going to have where it's going to be something that is of legacy. So you'll pass it on to the next generation. This is why people don't want you leaving because you're going to have some type of generational wealth of a business, an empire that you're going to build, right? And pass it on to the next generation and it's going to be secure. So this is not something where you'll pass it on to the next generation and then they're going to let it flop. And no, this is going to be long lasting, like forever. Like every time members of your bloodlines incarnate, they're going to have access to this legacy, to this abundance. So you you may think you're abundant now in this whatever you're in, this institution of marriage. It's a facade. It's an illusion. You're not abundant. It's an illusion. Okay, let it go. You're trapping yourself, letting these people play mind games with you. Move on. That's enough said. Seven, luck. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligence and you better use that intelligence to free yourself. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.